Hi, this is Eric Sloof from NTProud.nl and I'm going to show you a new metric in the ESX Top which uh, is able to display the number of reservations per second on your VMFS data store. So this is my little test setup. Uh, my VM client virtual machine is hosted on SSD storage. And when I browse the data store, you will also see that there is another virtual machine hosted on the same data store. It's called VM3-L-34. So what I'm going to show you in this, uh, in this video is the impact of reservations on the speed of your storage. Um, I'm logged on to this virtual machine with my own uh, created utility called the VM client. Actually, this is the virtual machine where I'm compiling uh, the code for the VM client. And I have bought uh, a real nice utility called HDTune Pro. And HDTune Pro can be used uh, to create a benchmark of your disk. And I'm going to show you a file benchmark, uh, not of the C drive, no, it's going to be the D drive. And this file benchmark is uh, created uh, to show you how fast uh, the disk of this virtual machine is. When I'm doing uh, a measurement on the D drive, it's 8 gigabytes, it's hosted on, uh, it's hosted on SSD storage. And when I hop over to my... Uh, session right here. I'm going to show you how to show the new metric. You just put in ESX top. Oh, sorry, ESX top. Uh, I'm jumping to the devices. When you press the F, you can switch on or off the metrics. In this case, I'm going to show you uh, the reservation stats. So I'm uh, enabling F, and we see here a nice reservation stats column, and the throughput is real good it's doing around 500 around 200 mbs per second 300 mbs per second uh, on ssd storage i think the mbs that are written are a bit lower 75 because uh, it's a kingston so uh, but the throughput is is fairly okay we see that the mbs which are read per second are above the 200 so keep this figure in mind uh, 200 MBs per second I'm gonna hop over to another uh, session and uh, I'm gonna show you this SSH session I'm logged on to the same ESX host and I'm already in the directory of the other virtual machine I'm, I'm gonna copy uh, the flat file of this virtual machine to a new file called test.vmdk so I'm using the normal copy command from the service console because this copy command uh, copies the file but uh, lets the file grow so when you do it with vmkfs tools the file will initially have the target size but this file will grow byte by byte so with this command i'm introducing a lot of squishy logs so when i fire off this command and i'm minimizing this session and i'm going i'm going to start my uh, file benchmark again I'm going to hop over to ESX stop and what you will see in the reservations per second column is that this value is jumping from 0 to dot .59. I've even seen values dot .7 and 9, dot .8. So uh, only one copy command in the service console is actually uh, responsible for a very high figure in the reservation per second column and now there's only one host connected to one local disk what you also will notice is when i'm jumping back to my uh to my hd tune pro uh, measure tool you will see that i'm not reaching the high values of 200 mbs per second anymore so uh, this virtual machine is suffering from the fact that it uh, isn't able to get access to the VMFS volume where the disk is stored on just because of the high uh, number of reservations per second. So you see that the 200 MBs per second are not even inside anymore. There's one little peak right here, but the other values stay fairly low and even uh, read is lower than write. So uh, as long as the file is copying, there are squeezy logs introduced right here. And you will notice that your storage will slow down. And I've only connected one host to this, uh, to this disk. So uh, yeah, imagine what will happen on, on, a, on, a, on a fiber channel with 16 hosts connected to it. So 
two lessons learned. One, never copy files with the, the default Linux command. Second, keep a close watch when you are troubleshooting storage on the reservations per second metric because this one is responsible for a lot of problems and this one is one you might want to check out if you are investigating storage problems. Okay, thank you for now uh, and uh, I hope to see you soon again on antiproto.nl. Bye bye.